I know Joey wasn't the only one lost. We also remember the lives of Nick Corson, Michael White, and Kevin Campbell. And now, on behalf of the Corson family, Pam Capassi is going to read the tribute for Nick. Thank you. I just want to thank the Corson family for um, allowing me to stand here today in your honor um, to do such a wonderful tribute to, to Nick. These are the family's words, um, and it starts out with a tribute to Nicholas Michael Corson. Nick had lived an amazing life, even though it was rather short. He was a great son, brother, uncle, nephew, friend, and cousin. Nick was the kind of person that stood by you when you needed somebody to be there. What is it that we remember about Nick? I think everyone who knew him very well would agree with me on this. It was his sense of humor. He was the kind of person that would make everyone laugh so hard they'd end up crying. Who could forget about his get down Karen jokes? <clears throat> That's the trademark of Nick. He always wanted to see people laugh and be happy. Nick's death was all too sudden. We remember when we heard the news and we couldn't believe it. Nick was way too young. But as it slowly occurred to each of us, we realized that Nick did live one hell of a life. Nick was well loved and has done so much on earth as he will contribute, uh, continue to do much more in heaven. I'm sure of it. We are all grateful to have the well-cherished memories that we had with him. Nick, as well as those memories, will remain in a special place in our hearts forever. This is not the time to grieve over his death. It is a time to celebrate his life. Think about it. How many times did Nick touch your, your lives? How good of a person was he inside and out? How he made us laugh. This is not the moment to shed our tears, but we should all be thankful that we were given the chance to have known this young man, Nicholas Michael Corson. We all cherish the times we had with him. Out in the woods during hunting season, seeing that smile on that kid's face was priceless. We all would pay to see that smile one more time. When he was fishing with the family or with his buddies, he would rub it in <coughs> rub it in if his fish was bigger than anyone else's. Nick really was a family guy. He had a great relationship with his parents, even though he would love to torment them. His brothers, Paulie and David, were his best friends. And I'm sure those boys would give anything to have one more moment with him. Nick also had one little guy in his life that he would do anything for. He loved him very much with all his pride and joy. Being that, the little guy I'm referring to was his nephew, Austin. You can't forget about Nick's time that he shared the most of with, where, <coughs> which were his best friends and also his partners in crime. He loved partying with them, hanging out with them, and sitting back and enjoying life with them. These boys are Nick's lifetime friends, which he would call brothers from another mother. Randy, Kyle, and Herbie, you all know that I'm talking about you because you guys were always there when he needed someone to talk to. All these memories that we all shared with him will always remain a part of us. We all thought we had said our goodbyes to Nick, but we didn't. We only said our see you laters because one day we'll all reunite with him and be able to make some, uh, to make more of those cherishable memories together. As we approach the one year mark of his death, we will not only be emotional, but we will also be telling ourselves not to cry because that's what he would have wanted us to do. <clears throat> he would be telling us to celebrate. Therein lies the essence of our cousin, brother, son, nephew, uncle, and friend. Nick was a singular character, a nonconformist. He was a person who marched to the tune of his own drum. Yes, Nick was different. He was not conventional. He did not follow the usual or preferred path in life. I do not think it would. Um, I do not think that we should regret that he was not more of an ordinary or conventional person. But we should rejoice the fact that Nick lived his own his life on his own terms. We must acknowledge that Nick suffered during his life, being unconventional and a nonconformist. He sometimes skated on thin ice. He had some minor brushes with the law, but the thing about him was that he was uncompromisingly honest and candid about his actions. Let us remember the differentness of Nick and celebrate his sturdy and stubborn individuality. So for now, see you later, Nick, my sweet, stubborn, brave cousin. We will all be with you again someday, and again, you will be able to make us laugh in tears. 
Get her done, kid. Love always, Jessica Ann. Anyone that would like to come forward to um, read a tribute, please feel free. And, and now is Sam. Hi, I'm Sam. I was one of Nick's cousins, and I want to direct this letter to Nick. Dear Nick, almost a year has gone by, and we still can't believe it. So much has changed this past year. <clears throat> And without your presence here with us only makes an empty space in our hearts. Your memory still stands strong. We have, to, we have to face a lot of things without you now. There are so many things you're going to miss out on, such as hunting with the gang every year and seeing you run through the woods after deer if they were to get away. You'll be, you'll be missing, wait, You'll be missing out on fishing trips with your friends and going camping with them. We will miss all the parties and you getting drunk and just acting as yourself. I will miss you standing in my kitchen and seeing you do the windmill and slicing the bread. Or hearing your famous words, get down Karen. Nothing will ever be the same without you here. We, we celebrated your 25th birthday for you as if you were here with us. Now as we all gather around for this event, all we can bring back are those precious memories we all shared. Now you're watching over us all and keeping us safe. We're with a few of your own friends up there, such as Joey. All these people here today did this for you guys. So the last thing I think I have to, have to say is, get her done, kid. Love and miss you forever and always. Love, Smith Ashley. Dear Nick, Nick lived an amazing life, even though it was rather short. He was a great son, brother, uncle, and cousin to me. The best cousin, he took me hunting, and we always had a blast. Even if it was sitting in the truck or getting ready to go the woods, he always made me laugh. Michael is an awesome cousin to me. His sense of humor is what I remember as Nick was always doing something hilarious. Either getting down Karen, the windmill, or slicing the bread. We all miss him terribly. terribly. We'll see you again someday, Nicholas. Get her done. Love and miss you. Forever and always, Heidi, your cousin, Heidi, Karen.